this is... The... Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson and I'm here once again in our super best fancy fancy finally hay fever free test location in the southwest of England. So today is the day ladies and gentlemen, I'm finally feeling up to it. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hofschmidt Anvil. This pick, while it does a couple of things really, really well, will also go outside of its remit in a way that I wasn't expecting. Now what I mean by that is this pick, which is made from acrylic and is five millimeters thick, is clearly not designed for making soft, relaxing music, right? But I decided I would take this and push it as far as it would go in terms of the tones it was capable of delivering. Now I'm going to use the same guitar for this test, same pedal board, same stuff as I always use. Um, and when I do distorted stuff, it's all over it like a cheap suit. Like that's, that's not the issue here. But the thing that's really interesting is when I started playing with this clean, it's still got crazy amounts of force. It's got an odd grace. It's got grace in the way that a suit of armor has grace. I was very surprised at how well it coped with going into softer styles of music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack out the stick board and whim and do some heavy stuff first. And then I'm gonna do the clean. And I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> talk about this thing. It's acrylic, but it doesn't feel like acrylic because of the way it's been uh, brushed on the front and back. The sides are all polished and the tip is polished just at the end. When you're, when you're holding it, as you can see from here, the square bit sort of goes right up into the finger and all you're left with is the bit you're going to use. Now, that sounds like a perfectly normal thing. However, this sort of... This sort of pick is a cast iron example of how thick plectrums can do a lot more work for you than a thin pick would. If you play hard with this, it'll sound like your guitar is exploding because there's so much natural force. His whole thing is that it's supposed to have all this extra power so that you don't have to stand there like with a death grip thrashing away, right? When I relaxed into it, I just let myself play the notes I was trying to play. The anvil knows what you're trying to do. And it just goes, ah, oh, we're doing this now. Buff, 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 buff. And it just smacks the strings out of the way like they're nothing. Now, if you're thinking of getting into heavier picks and you want to try and get a grasp on how little force, how little physical force you have to put in, this is as good an example as I can possibly think of. Um, there's not really anything out there with that aggressive sort of geometry. Uh, and the way it fits in the hand is unlike anything else I've got in my collection. But if you are especially an economy picker and you're trying to get the real sort of stuff, you want one of these. The finishing is ridiculous, as it always is with all the Schmidt stuff. Um, I've got quite a few picks from now. And everything from the brass to acrylic to his own half tech stuff um, looks like it's come out of a machine, but it's still being made by a guy. And if you go on his site or you watch his live streams, 
you can see him actually making the stuff. So it's, you know, there's no trickery here. I'm going to say for the purposes for which this was designed and quite a bit more than I was expecting, uh, this is the plums. These things will take an unbelievable pounding uh, before it gets anywhere near to being unusable. Uh, and if you're really, really, really worried about that, get a pick made of Torlon. That would be perfect. So I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Huffschmidt Ergo Anvil. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me uh, or to get in touch with Huffschmidt himself. I have left a link down in the description. Uh, if this was of help to you, thanks very much for watching. Um, please let me know in the comments if you've tried any of his stuff uh, and if there's other models that I should be having a look at. Uh, I will be back in due course with more news from the Plectroverse, but in the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson. This is heavy repping, and I shall see you soon. So just remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard and rep heavy.